Whoa, 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 all right, so let's get into it. 21 Savage, he went ahead and spazzed out on Clubhouse. He was going back and forth with somebody from his old neighborhood. And you know how the hood conversations go. 21, The dude that was going off on 21 Savage saying 21 Savage ain't really like that or he ain't really had no money and all this other stuff. And 21 was saying the same thing, same stuff about old dude, telling him, you know, you weren't really around when I was around. You weren't big when I was big. You used to... We used to have to uh, tell people, or they used to tell people to lock the door before you come through. So it was a big back and forth thing. Start getting about how, you know, how street they is, how tough they is, how much money they had. 21 even said, you know, with anybody we beef with, 30 of they dudes get smoked and nothing happened to us in real life. And I will say this, 21. That while that may be true, and I'm not, I'm not even going to say you lying. I believe 21 he, when he said he was in them streets doing what he was doing. I believe him. I believe him. But that's not the point. Don't matter if you tell the truth, 21. It don't matter if you tell the truth. What matters is you 21 Savage. You a name. You big. You just did an album with Drake that did like over 300,000 copies this first week. Probably platinum or damn near platinum at this point. And you wasting time with some dude that by your own admission didn't even matter when you was around. You don't have to do this. You don't need to do this. This shouldn't be what you're doing. You shouldn't be wasting your time on Clubhouse going back and forth with people from your neighborhood. You a star. You at a different level, man. He has to keep doing this because he has not gained what you have. He's he, This means more for him than it does for you. Now he got the cloud of saying he got to go back and forth with 21. What do you get? You get you get people saying what I'm saying. Cause I think the... I think majority of people are in agreement with what I'm saying. It's like, why are you going back and forth with this nobody? And that's not that this dude, I don't know, I don't know him, but I'm just saying for you, 21, that should be your mindset. I'm on a whole nother level. I should be looking to, you know, better myself and grow, not bring myself back down to where I was. And especially say incriminating things when they trying to get people locked up in Atlanta and all over and doing Ricos and stuff. You definitely should be talking about illegal activities and taking people's lives. That should not be a conversation you have at all. So you just, you wildin' for that, 21. You know, I see 21. He has grown a lot, though. You know, I can see, like, with the conversations he's having, the way he talks, the way he discusses things, how patient he is, and willing to, you know, have real life, you know, conversations back and forth and and, and be accountable for his actions. I, I, I mess with that. I like 21. I can see where the growth is coming. One, because of his age. Two, because, you know, he making money. And the more money you make the more responsibility you have on your plate. You know, you're taking things a lot more serious. You got a lot more to lose. And I see the way he acting. And he he coming together nicely. He's not all the way there yet, clearly, as we can see. But he is coming together nicely. I would say, man, that that clubhouse stuff, they ain't helping nobody. If you want to get on there every once in a while, answer a couple questions, maybe do an interview on somebody's in somebody's room. But when you start seeing stuff turn left like that, I think it's best for you you know, with the trajectory of your career, where you headed to just be done with that because that don't do no favors for you. It only do favors for the people that you got an issue with. And I would even add, I would even add WAC 100 in that. I wouldn't even be for WAC 100 no more, 21, on there. WAC is saying that you snitching and you probably the informant in the Young Thug case and just making up all the stuff with no proof. And we are, it's no, no paperwork, no proof of nothing. Because you was in that visa program for, for minors or whatever. But again, no proof that you snitching. But let him make his claims. You already said it's not true. Let these people say whatever they want to say. If they want to say you not really in the street like that, whatever. If you want to bring somebody to say you was in the street, that okay. But you don't have to be going back and forth with these people. I say let Clubhouse do what Clubhouse do. It's pretty much, you know, Clubhouse at this point is like the bottom of the barrel dude. That's where all, you know... The bottom of the barrel dudes come together to talk slick and and, and and spread rumors. And I just think that you above that. 21, your status right now is you one of the top leaders of the game, man. So hold your head up high. 
Forget what they saying. You know what you are and you know where you going. Moving on to Andrew Tate. Of course, everybody knows by now Andrew Tate was arrested. Him and his brother Tristan Tate, they were arrested for pretty much running a sex ring, sex op- a, a, a sex operation, uh, and bribing, or not bribing, but convincing women to come live with them to do their cam work business and then keeping them hostage, not letting them leave, doing some type of mental, you know, mess with stuff to to brainwash them and to staying loyal to the Tate brothers and then, you know, just work, use them for sex and other type of illegal activities. Now, from that, of course, Andrew Tate has a lot of fans. He's really big on what they call the in what they call the red pill community, where he talks a lot about, you know, masculinity and how men need to be more masculine and uh, talks about the relationship between man and woman and how a man should be with a woman and how a woman should be with a man. Now, as I've said before, I don't think that all of what Andrew Tate says is wrong, but I do have an issue with him to some to some degree. I've never been a big fan of his, like say I was to Kevin Samuels. And I saw a lot of flaws in Andrew's thinking. Now, what has transpired from this is no longer a matter of opinion. Because you can love Andrew Tate's message he was giving. You can say that he had some reasonable things to say about men and women's relationship and how men should be. You can be the biggest Andrew Tate fan in the world. Or you can hate Andrew Tate and everything he says to stand for doesn't matter because Andrew Tate himself has admitted to brainwashing girls, to pipping girls out, to masterminding them, to do his bidding, to stealing from them, to not paying taxes, to bribing officials and officers. And he's also admitted to laundering money from illegal activities through his webcam business. This is all stuff that 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 has been put out there. All this evidence that they found, you know, when people were saying that, oh, it's the the Matrix is trying to get Andrew Tate because he's he's talking real. Well, they put out everything he said and it all comes from the horse's mouth. Some of it is through text messages, I think from WhatsApp, and some of it is just him being recorded, talking, explaining his business and how he does everything, how he corrupts these girls, how he manipulates them into thinking they, they love him and how he steals from them, how he acts like he's going to be paying taxes, but he's not. He's keeping money for himself, how he gets out of paying taxes. And then he's also talking about money laundering. And and actually, we see a conversation between Andrew Tate and a female where he's sweet talking her and making her think that they're going to get married, which, of course, they don't. He puts them to work and they're one of many, as they find out once they get to him, once they get to him. We've also got uh, messages between what he calls his bottom bees, the girls who were helping him uh, get the girls and manage the girls, threatening to kick a girl out the house because she wasn't making as much money. And since she had to be gone, they never want to see her again. So this is all out there. As there's been many of videos of people reacting to all of this evidence against Andrew Tate, where it's clearly st- shown that he was committing a crime. He was sex trafficking. That's what he's been accused of, sex trafficking. All of this evidence being out there, When you a simp, you a simp for real. And that's one of the problems with a lot of these red pill fans is that at the end of the day, in your heart, you really a simp and you don't get women. And this is not every person that's in that community. Some people would say Kevin Samuels is in that community. I would kind of disagree. I know I'm not in that community. I'm not a red pill fan. I'm a Kevin Samuels fan. Now, though all of the men who take this advice are not simps because there's a lot of good advice, there are a lot of men who uses that as an excuse because they couldn't get women anyway and kind of want to hate women. And I think these are the people who, regardless of the facts and the evidence that are coming out and Andrew Tate himself admitting it on camera, they are still riding for Tate. And there was a big rally protest, I think in Germany, where there are, uh, I think thousands, hundreds or at least a thousand or so men were out there saying, free the top G. Andrew Tate calls himself the top G. And they were all like, free top G, free top G. And I'm watching this like, wow, it's some simple-minded fools. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what evidence you have. If somebody's a fan of you, I'm seeing they will they will put blinders on in support of you. And when you have somebody admitting to a crime, 
openly admitted they have committed a crime and you still want to be out here protesting, raining, raving, recording yourself, supporting this guy. It just goes to show you what you are. And you are not an alpha. You are a beta. And anybody at this point that's still not saying you can't like his advice, but if you're talking about free him, he's innocent, he didn't do anything with him admitting it himself on camera and through text messages. You are a beta and you have no idea how to exist without him, I don't think. I think you need him to tell you how to feel at this point. And if he's not out there spouting his rhetoric and, and, and giving his opinion on things, you don't know how to feel. You know what I think is going to happen? I think that somebody else is going to come out, take the place of Andrew Tate. And then at that point, people are no longer going to care about Tate and he can go ahead and go to jail. Because I don't think he's getting out. You know, he tried to appeal, tried to get out, just said nope, and they're still in jail. And based on that, the amount of evidence they have, yeah, that's that's pretty much where they gotta be. And I don't I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna get out of this. Looking like some real time. And regardless of all the protests you want, evidence and facts and facts. And what is it that um, a lot of more conservative people like to say? Facts don't care about your feelings, y'all. So sorry about your boy Tate, but Shouldn't have been sex trafficking. All right, now Funk Master Flex himself has come out and said that he is no longer not, again, he is no longer not playing 6 9 music, which means he will go back to playing 6 9 music because he says that snitching is more acceptable, acceptable now and it's kind of like a trending thing to do for rappers. He said there's a lot of rappers even before 6 ix 9 that was snitching and just a small few of rappers that's keeping it really G nowadays. He mentioned Casanova. He mentioned Bobby Shmurda. He mentioned Fetty Wap. Wap. He, he mentioned Young Thug. Probably a couple others he mentioned too that's holding it down and not snitching. But he said for the majority of the rappers, y'all are telling and he no longer playing these selective politics. Now you gotta know that he's going in at Gunner a little bit who came back out Everybody has something to say about Gunner returning to social media and saying, you know, everybody talk about switching side to some. It's only one side. Why is sell the label forever? Everybody was asking, wait a minute, Gunner, hold up, Gunner, didn't you say that Why is sell was a gang as well and that they need to end as a gang and that you've seen illegal activities from Why is sell the gang? And now it seems like nobody got nothing to say. A couple people unfollowing Gunner, but ain't nobody really saying nothing. So it looks like the legendary DJ, the legendary radio star himself, Funkmaster Flex, is like, I'm tired of the pump faking. I'm tired of the phoniness. I'm tired of the cap. If y'all going to let Gunner or if y'all going to let these other rappers go by snitching, then 6 9 send me the next record. I'm playing it. So you don't, you, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Keep your ears out for Funk Master Flex, man. Flex might be playing some 6 9 music right now. 6 might have some ready. Just was waiting for the, 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 the black ball band to be lifted from him so he can put it out there. So you never know. Might be hearing some brand new 6 9 music. Now, me personally, how I look at it. Look, bro, we are fans of music. I'm not in the street stuff. I really don't care. To me, the street like the street code stuff was more so what I hear from my family side of your yeah, character, I guess. That's how I looked at it more so than you know, just up upholding the code. It was more so I looked at it like a person's character. Whereas if you was part of this crime, and so you wouldn't have to do no crime because you got caught, you you it out other people that, you know, did the crime with you, that you were fully aware that you were doing, that let me know you was a terrible, a, a terrible person. And so I still hold, I still look at it that way to, to a certain degree now that I'm older. But I will say for a lot of these other cats, especially these rappers that were in the streets, you know, they got these selective politics. They move the goalposts a little bit. They, you know, it's like snitching is snitching, period. Now you got some people saying, well, we got to wait for Thug. We got to wait to hear what Thug say. Which I don't know why you have to wait to hear what Thug say when you heard what Gunner said. It was recorded. He said it all. It's already been said. But you know, people want to hold on to hope that one ain't a snitch. And that's fine. I get you. You know, you don't want to believe your heroes can do the things that they said they wouldn't do, right? It was always taking the trial. Now it's cop a plea. You know, it's pushing pleas. So I don't know. I, I don't like the hypocrisy. Clearly, Flex don't like the hypocrisy either. 
He done faking with y'all. He letting it be what it is. He keeping it real. And I can respect the legendary Funkmaster Flex for that. We'll see what this what this does for hip hop music overall, for the artists. If Flex does play some 6 9 will that stop people from coming in and hanging with him? Will that hurt his, his brand? I mean, Flex is so powerful. He's been around for so long. It's kind of like he cemented his legacy is solidified. I don't think that this could hurt him, but who knows? You know, he does like to get acts on to spit bars. Some of the old heads start to resent him. Some of the younger cats start to resent him. I don't know. But he brought up a pretty good point, though. You got to at least address the issue that he's saying. I feel like in, I feel like a lot of people are going to ignore the actual issue and just try to be like, oh, you supporting the rap. But no, I feel like a lot of these rappers, a lot of these people in the industry who uphold this street life, these street codes, they have to at least address what he's saying because he's spitting some facts, man. And it's some, it's some hypocrisy going on right now. So I don't know. It's just going to be interesting to see where things go for everybody. I'm looking forward to it. I like the drama a little bit. And Flex is, is standing by his word. If he's standing by his word, let's see what happens. So that's the show for today. Thank you all so much for tuning in, taking in this whack wisdom. And I hope that you return next week to get a little bit more. Of course, also, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop new videos on this channel. And if you listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Google Podcasts, Please make sure to follow so you're notified every time I'm dropping a new episode on those platforms. That being said, this is the Whack Ass Podcast, and I am whacking off. It's the Whack Ass Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. It's the Whack Ass Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me, talk whack to me, yeah. talk whack to me, talk whack to me. Ah.